Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Orange here. Today we are back on Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now today what we've been doing is we've been doing a couple things that you guys suggested and then a couple things I wanted to try on my own. We're going to see who's stronger between two different types of units or just a bunch of units uh, in all-out chaos. I think that sounds pretty cool too. Anyway, so the first one that we had suggested was a bunch of trumps versus... One Dark Peasant. Now, I heard Dark Peasants are extremely deadly. So after this, I'm going to see exactly how deadly they are and see if I can find anything that can beat them. So here's one Dark Peasant. There's a whole bunch of trucks. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're, they're kind of putting up a little bit of a fight, but he's still taking them out left and right. They're going to re... Oh! The Trumps killed him! Okay, okay, okay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. How about a bunch of Hillary's? Just, just to see what happens. Oh no. Oh my goodness. That was so much quicker. Okay. Um, let's see what they can do against a whole bunch of peasants. Is that guy floating? <laughs> that guy's floating. I kind of want to clear that side. Now, I'm, I'm going to make it look at least nice. Make a nice big army. I, I'm going to change the location, actually. That sounds better. Uh, Denmark is full. Yeah. Uh, now, let's go. Shanghai looks good. Okay. So, in Shanghai, this will be kind of my, just my uh, sandbox location at the moment. And let's see here. How many is that? That is 800... Uh, it's 85 right now, so let's go with, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think is a good number for this? There's 200. 200 right there. Okay, we're going to put 200 peasants against one dark peasant. I'm going to give him a little bit of room. Nah, let's, let's make it harder on him. Let's make it real hard on him, and let's see what happens here. We don't have any lag yet. Oh my goodness, look at him go. Look at him go. There's just a like porcupine effect going on here. Ooh, they are slapping him though. Oh, what's going on here? There's just like this utter destruction. Oh my, oh. All right. Is there anyone? Oh my goodness. That is just awful. Okay, I want to see, just because I saw a Hillary, I want to see what happens if I put one Hillary up against this army. Because this looks like fun. Just looks like fun. All right, all right. She's getting attacked, but she is holding him off pretty well. Let's see here. Oh my goodness, look at that. She's like doing behind the, behind the back card tricks. Oh my, look at this fight. Man, I think she went to the wrong field. She should have gone to Ninja Star Throwing instead of, you know, politics. Jeez, look at this. Look at her go. Oh, up oh, she lost. <laughs> I, I thought she had a chance. Let's see what a Trump does. Just, just to see what happens here. Oh, he is so dead. Oh, maybe not. He doesn't have good aim. That's the issue. He has like no good aim. Oh, well, well, that happened. Okay. Oh, what happens if it falls? Oh, if it fell backwards, it might have killed all of them. Oh, they're just slapping him. They are just slapping him like no one's business. They're going to win, or is he, is he, is he going to win? Oh, they both lost. I guess 200 peasants is too hard for anyone to beat. Oh, my goodness. He's just massacring these pe these poor peasants. Now, I love peasants. I think peasants are the most powerful unit in this game in numbers. But reality is... Oh, oh. Wow. They wiped him clean. Okay. So we see that the dark peasant is extremely powerful. But let's see exactly how powerful he is. Let's see if we put one dark peasant against... Um... One M16. We're gonna we're gonna give them both a little bit of room. 
because they're both a little bit more range, but I believe the M16 has more range. Not entirely sure. Um, so that'll give him a little bit of advantage, because if he gets to him, it's a one-hit kill. Oh, that is if he can get to him, though. Look at this. One-on-one, -on -one, and he can't make it to the M16 shooter. The soldier has got this down. Oh, if he takes him on one-on-one, -on -one, that would just be awesome. He's pushing him back. He's pushing him back. Oh, is he gonna push? He's gonna try to push him off the edge. Oh no, he killed him! Okay, so the Dark Peasant will not win against one M16 unit. Now I want to try out a little bit of the factions. I want to see who's stronger between the Vikings, Crusaders, Greece, Asia, and Napoleon. Um, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna give a little bit of a, uh, I don't really know if I'm gonna give him advantage, but I'm gonna give him a decent uh, army on each side. We're gonna put two cannons here, two cannons here. These are barrel rollers, which are exploders, and then musket men. Okay, that'll be one side. And then up against Napoleon, we will put up Asia, who will have, um, oh wow. You know what, forget that. I'm gonna say Huachas. Two Huachas on, is that how you say that, Huacha? I guess I you say it. Two watches. And, um... But these ninjas will be about there, so we'll do that. About the same, I think. I don't know the exact numbers on that. And then, uh, Two samurai guys running down the middle. Yeah! Alright! Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Watches are so evil! Oh, oh, but look at that. The fire actually helped him way more than I thought it would. That's about the same amount right there. Wow, that's a lot more in price. Oh boy, but those watches. Oh my, look at how fast they wiped him out. Okay, let's just see what's more powerful. Um. One cannon, and one huacha. Go. <laughs> oh, that was just great. From a range, from a range, I don't even know if there will be much of a difference. Let's see, if I put one over here, and uh, let's see, where's, where's the watcha guy? Um, one over here. I wanna see what happens here. All right, they're, they're, the Hwajan's way faster. But it's one shot until he loses. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's, oh that was a draw. That was 100% a draw. So they're actually pretty pretty close there. Um, Let's see here. Let's find something that would be kind of fun to watch. Let's see here, Super Peasants. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's like a ballerina show here, and they get those guys. What on earth? What is this?
<laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Okay. Um. Alright, so this one's more of a fail, I think. Uh, uh, that one will not work. So... Uh, <laughs> Well, that is kind of funny, though, that uh, so many come through. Let's see here. Farmers. Versus, let's see here. Head butters. Same number, same price. See which one's better. Oh, my goodness. The farmers just destroyed half of them. Oh. Yeah, farmers are powerful. All right. So, um, back to what I was doing earlier. Grease, one chariot, versus one cannon. Go. <laughs> oh, red one! I totally thought it'd be the other way around. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Put one Hillary Clinton against a chicken man man. I kind of want to see what happens, just for the fun of it. Oh my goodness. She's going ham. She is going ham. Well, she's nailing him. Oh my goodness. One Hillary Clinton killed the chicken man man by herself. All right. How about two chicken man mans, huh? How many chicken man mans does it take to kill a Hillary Clinton? She's going for it. Oh, she has one down already. Oh, but that was too much. So basically 1v1 is about as much as she can go. All right, we're gonna end this one off to see what happens when super peasants go up against dark peasants. Now super peasants can fly. Oh, oh my goodness, but the Dark Peasant really rips into shreds, doesn't he? Oh, oh, they're still going at him. They're still trying to take him out. Oh no, Dark Peasants are so deadly. They are so deadly. All right, so uh, that's all I have for this episode. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit more of this video. Uh, it's, it's game. A little bit more in Total battle, total Accurate Battle Simulator. I really like the game. It's fun to play. Uh, so, please tell me down below what you want to see because that really helps me decide what to put up next. I'm thinking of putting maybe archers against, uh, I don't know, an army of spear throwers or something. That would be kind of cool to watch. Anyways, so tell me what you guys think and uh, make sure you leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see because it really does help me know that you want to see more of this. Alright, I will see you next one. Bye-bye.